we also invited um, Lucas, which is leading the efforts of developing the CNSAP uh, with me. So hi there, I'm Nero, founder, founder of Blockful. I'm Lucas, tech lead of the ENS team in Blockful. Yeah, so we'll be presenting our uh, main effort during the year, which was um, this ENSAP. Um, we also did uh, some research around governance, but it's not related to the service provider's code. Uh, let me know if you want to chat about this later. So, um, as you have seen in the ENS uh, Labs presentation earlier, um, CCIP read, off-chain domains, these all have been taken off for like, clear reasons. So CCIP read uh, does enable uh, free names, does enable ENS scaling a lot. And also another cool thing which came together is uh, ENS IP 10, which is basically uh, being able to get any information about a name just with one function. So that's really, really good for uh, developer experience and then also user experience. Now, uh, this is how the ENS protocol uh, looks like. Uh, take it off, yeah. So we did a uh, quick research on the uh, domain issue, the major players. So we have the ENS protocol, all the contracts they have. And we researched the base implementation, which is they, they got uh, the ENS contracts. They did kind of a, a slight change in the contracts. They have the uh, different interface for registering subdomains and for managing their base names. You can go to the left. Also, Linea have the, the same contracts with slight different chains, like the proof of humanity. The next one. And then space, they have a gateway that signs and all the transactions that go to, to the L2 contracts. This leads us to a client having to implement all these fun different functions to support uh, registering and managing these domains on the different chains. So huge clients, different implementations, different APIs, and different parameters. So again, we, we do have a standard for reading data, which, is, which enables uh, everything uh, like base names and all the others names being usable by wallets. But we don't have a standard for writing data, for like managing these domains. So that ends up in that situation, in the previous slide, this one, which if you want to support all of those uh, off-chain domains providers, you need to have like a really complex and big client. And the effort we have been working around the whole year is researching each of those and coming with a pattern that could uh, be comprehensible with that. So that, that's kind of like how it simplifies. Uh, you have like a smaller client, which only needs to concern about being compatible with uh, the ENSIP, which, which is wildcard writing, and then all the, 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 the off-chain providers can integrate into this pattern, and this creates like a firewall, like a network um, effect. So the main features for this wildcard wild card, uh, writing interface is subdomain registry, uh, being compatible with pricing, commit review schemes, if the name is available or not. You can also do ERC20 payments, uh, subdomain transfer, renewal, and record setting, like for example, setting your editor and what else. Um, also, we, we built this standard on top of EIP5559, which is an EIP not so known. Uh, but it was authored by Nick Johnson and uh, Pauli from 3DNS. It's pretty cool. We are, we are still understanding if it will uh, require will require the CIP for uh, our final draft because maybe there are some changes. But it's a pretty cool EIP to check out. Yeah, this is the flow implemented. So what we have here is the contract living on the other one being the entry point for the off-chain writing. So let's say I want to register a subdomain. The client would call the L1 resolver saying that you want to master this subdomain. Uh, using the, the 5559 EIP, the resolver would uh, redirect, and then the client would uh, do the same request with the same call data to the gateway, which you would uh, register this subdomain on the database. If you go further, we have uh, L2 implementation as well. Uh, the only difference we have here is that we implemented this register program uh, function, which is uh, relies on CCIP read for reading the, all the required data for registering these subdomains. So the price for registration, uh, if it's available or not, if you pay in a token or commit review. 
So it is a CCIP recall before the write call is using our standard. Yeah, so our, our goal is for this uh, standard to be implemented in the ENS uh, DAP and SDK. So that means if you create right now uh, your infrastructure for issuing uh, subdomains for your good users, then you'll be able to, for your, your good users, to manage it on the ENS DAP. So that's a huge network effect. And also for other SDKs. So out of the box, you have all of this interoperability, which we don't have today. We have today the reading standard, but not the writing standard. So this unlocks really like a great, great uh, primitive. Uh, also integrating these, uh, this pattern with uh, main off-chain uh, domain providers, with, which are uh, Base, Linea, uh, Namespace, Namespace. We are in contact with all of those in different uh, stages. And end goal is being adopted by ENS2, so we are also uh, in contact with the ENS Labs, because then we are not only talking about off-chain domains, we are actually talking about domains, right? Actually, like ENS2, okay, it's technically an off-chain domain, but you're not doing it only for subdomains, like also like about ETH domains. So it will be like really, if you, if we can achieve these goals, that's that's huge interoperability, and. Then the outcomes that we are focusing on, it's basically better UX, right? Because then you have users being able to manage domains like easily and like, again, all of those networks effects. Uh, better developer experience, because if I want to now create uh, off-chain domain, uh, I don't need to imagine how this implementation for writing will look like. I don't need to build a specific interface for my users to manage these domains, it also come like come out of the box, and I mean the end goal is more ENS usage, right? So that's the end goal. Um, yeah, so that's for Blockful. Thank you. Any questions for Blockful? Yes, like a fluid key, for example, right? Um, yeah, but not specifically thought about um, how this might play out with that. Yeah, it's like, so super cool uh, insight. Uh, do you have any? No, I was just very curious. Okay. Yeah, no, nice. We'll, we'll go there. All right, well, give it up for Bachel. Thank you all.